This second Sunday in Advent, we light the Bethlehem candle, often associated with faith and peace. Today's readings present an image of faith that is full of anticipation. There is an uneasy contrast between the intense, almost violent changes that are to come and the comfort of God, like a parent who tenderly says, have hope in the future. In the span of three readings, we hear about the heavens passing away with a mighty roar and elements dissolved by fire, and we are told to trust in God and be found at peace. This feeling of holding both of these images, fearful anticipation and peace, seems very fitting when we re reflect on what it means to be a person of faith in a world full of violence and injustice. I'm struck by the fact that the tragedies of the world often do require immediate action. People are dying and that has to stop. Like John the Baptist's sense of urgency in announcing Jesus' arrival, a faithful response to injustice is to act. And while this is absolutely true, it is also true that a spirit of patient waiting and peaceful trust helps ground us in God's mysterious sense of time amidst tragedy. In the reading from 2 Peter, God's time is like a thousand years in one day and one day in a thousand years. It turns out that a faithful posture during Advent is being able to hold on to paradoxes and contradictions like these. Now, I grew up in Iowa, and this time of year, I like to take walks in the snow through the silent gray forests and fields near my house. Everything looks dead and still as the old year passes away. Even the ground is frozen and silent, except for the crunch of snow. I had a mentor tell me once that this time of year, we are called to be silent like the soil. But any biologist will tell you that beneath the frozen ground, the soil isn't really silent. It's swirling with life, a chattering microbiome and germinating young seeds. Nutrients are being exchanged and water-rich roots wait in anticipation for spring. So I find comfort in the phrase, be silent like the soil, knowing that fear, sadness, confusion, hope, anticipation are all nutrients for faith-filled growth.